going shopping. We live right down the road from a Ross Dress for Less and a Rue 21. So I'm gonna go check them out. Um, I'm gonna look at Ross to see if I can find a desk because I still need one. But we've had a very busy day and Nate wants to set up his uh, internet, fire stick and phone stuff. So he's gonna do that, get the TV all nice and ready to go, fix our internet hopefully because there's a splitter problem. So I'm gonna head out and check some shops out which is crazy and a lot of fun and maybe I'll show you what I find along the way you guys look at the fluffy chair I have to test this out it's super soft but it's $89 so it's actually not that cheap for Ross but I really like it. So a lot of bloggers are going into Ross and TJ Maxx and showing that sometimes they have half price makeup. Here we've got kind of like a Clarisonic dupe. Some de-puffing retinal eye serum. How much is this? So this is on sale for $6.99. Lavender oil, Dove. So this is all like creams. Let's see if we can find some makeup stuff in here. Ooh, Juicy Couture. This is like slippers and a face mask. I do love the Juicy Couture perfume, so if they have that, that would be awesome. Lots of cute wallets. Look! Unicorns! Which I just want to point out the carts are really weird because it has like a broom handle at the top. A little odd. What do we have? We have a hair dryer. Curling irons. All day curls. What is this? I'd like to find like one of those itty bitty curling wands that does like the spiral curls or a crimper would be awesome. Almost famous. Oh, this is like a Numi wand. Pretty decent price. Okay. Oh, bedhead. Bedhead straightener, no crimper. Lots of flat irons though. What do we got in here? Anything good? Peel off face masks. My cellar rose oil. Hyaluronic acid, lots of eye creams and serums. Ooh, there's a makeup brush set. Paris Hilton. That's actually pretty cool. I have a million brushes, but that is $12.99. That's a great price. What is this? Exclusive as we knock stuff down. Fantastic. Exclusive gold serum. 24 karat gold. Oh yes. Okay, nothing I'm like super excited about. Revlon, this is a decent mascara. It does dry out fairly quickly, but it's pretty good. Ooh. Bobby Brown glow stick. 11.99. They're in cases. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Don't take the good makeup. Cleaning Cappy. I have this at home on my dresser right now, actually. Pure Minerals. What are you? Lancome. <laughs> it's so funny. They're all in these tiny cases. Ooh, Kat Von D. This is a liquid lipstick. We might go with this. That looks interesting. I can't do a like graveyard girl bunny basket toss because I'd break the case. More Kat Von D. So not a huge selection, but there's definitely some stuff in here. Bobbi Brown glow stick again and something else Bobbi Brown. We don't know what that is. Estee Lauder. Ooh, Peter Roth. What is this? $44 value. Ooh, these are like the little face masks. What is this? We have 
It is $17.99 compared at $40. This is a MAC Rockin' Rebel. So this is a MAC eyeshadow palette. I'd like to know what it looks like. Hmm, maybe. What are you? Origins Eye Cream, Deep Puffer, Cuba Perfume, Paris Hilton Perfume, Origins. Anybody know anything about this Origins? I've never seen that one. What's this? Bourgeois. Yeah, these bins are really obnoxious. I mean, I get we're trying to prevent people from taking the products, but it's really annoying. Smashbox. What are you? This looks like Kat Von D as well. Kat Von D. We've got a glare. More bourgeois. Eww! Bling bling. Lancome blush. Did we look at all these? I think so. Alright. So, not a huge selection, but not bad. I think we found a couple things. What do we got over here? I have this. It's wonderful. I highly recommend it. It is amazing. I actually used it on Nathan's eyebrows as well, so it is fantastic. I guess all the good stuff is in cases, so everything else that's over here is not as exciting. But that's okay. We'll take a look anyway. More brushes. If anybody needs brushes, this is the place to come. Ooh, that's pretty. Like, I need more highlighter, but that is gorgeous. And it is $6.99. L'Oreal! Ooh. So I have the big, like, jars of these, but I guess if you wanted to test them to see which ones you like, that's a good idea. A case with nothing in it! Tisk tisk. Someone has opened the case. Radiant Eyes Rebel Collection. Let's see if we can open this. Mm. Not well. There we go. Ta-da! Very dark colors. Let's face it. There's way too many brushes. <laughs> what is that? Does anybody need a giant key ring holder with the lion on it. That's kind of scary. What's back here? Oh, our brushes! Can you think, anything I don't know what it is is probably just going to be chalked up to brushes now. Oh, I see another Mac one in here. Who are you? That's pretty. This is a lot of like off-brand stuff. Trying to shift through this without knocking everything over. Ooh, this is one of those fancy mirrors. It is very beat up. Hi! Eye magic. Bourgeois. Does anybody know anything about the um, brand Bourgeois? Let me know. I've never heard of them before. Real Techniques brushes. Those are great. What is this? The color collection, Amelia Knight. It's a cool set, but I'm guessing this is probably pretty cheap makeup because it's got nail polish and stuff in it. It looks like it'd make a great kids palette. If you've got a girl that wants to start to get into makeup, there's lots of fun stuff in this section that she could definitely test out. 24 karat gold. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It is a 24 gold and collagen breast mask. Well then, moving on. What is this? Jessica Simpson brushes. Okay. That's pretty much all I see in this section. Nothing I can't live without. You guys let me know if you see anything that I should have grabbed or you would have grabbed. But yeah. Okay guys, we are uh, now in a TJ Maxx. 
I will show you guys a little later what I found at the Ross, but already the TJ Maxx is kicking butt compared to the Ross. Look at all these essential oils. Little diffusers, and I just found this. This is the Bedhead Dumb Blonde Reconstructor. This is a really, really good shampoo and conditioner. Anyway, with focus, great for platinum blondes. It's usually like 30 bucks, and it is 12.99. So I think we might get this. We've got this cool little rolly cart. Ciao. All right, let's see what cool stuff we can find. So again, we've got another skincare section. They've got Elf, Simple, a lot more choices, a lot more brand names actually than Ross had too. This is actually really good, the Burt's Bees. Yes to hydration. All kinds of good stuff in there. We're not looking for the skincare today though. We're looking for some goodie makeup items. So this is $19.99, the Glow Kit by Anastasia. Oh, the gold's completely gone. That is a beautiful palette though. I feel like it should be a lot less than that considering the whole thing is gone. This is all the clearance, so let's see what we can find in here. Gemstone. Nicole Miller. This is on sale for three bucks. Clearly, because it's been a little tampered with. But if you don't mind that, you could probably find some good ones in here. Life's a peach. That's a good palette. It's only missing like part of this little thing here. This is three dollars. Ooh, Too Faced. And it's just the Too Faced mirror. Sad day. Let's see. Let's try this one. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the Chocolate Bon Bon. Um, yeah, that looks like it's on its last legs. That one's pretty old. So this is definitely going to be very hit or miss. This is a lot of older makeup. $15 for a shade and light. These are pretty good. Only two of them that didn't quite make it. But Kat Von D, I think this is like originally like 40 bucks. Try the other Too Faced ones. Mm. They don't look so hot, unfortunately, guys. That one looks the best out of all of them, but it's still got like, it's not mold, but it definitely looks like it's not healthy. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend those. What is back here? Ellen Tracy. Ellen Tracy seems to be everywhere in the Ross and TJ Maxx stores. Got some Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. What is sneaking back here? Another one? Do we try it? Ta -da. No. Oh my gosh, this should be thrown in the trash. That's terrifying. How about this? Ooh, Lux Velvet Eye Pillow. This is a dollar? Really? It's a sleep mask? I think we might go with this. This is awesome. This is a beauty blender that comes with a little stand. And I'm always wondering where to put my beauty blenders. So I think I'm gonna get this. It's four bucks just so I have a stand. I like that a lot. I also found a Cargo Cosmetics. We're gonna see how much this is because it's brand new. So that one's really good find. Another cargo one. This is the Blockbuster eyeshadow palette. Originally 40 bucks. It's ten dollars here. Got Laura Geller. Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator 4.99. Too Faced. Ooh. This is the White Peach eyeshadow palette. 24 bucks. There's also a Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. 
but this is also $24.99. You kind of have to do a little bit of searching, but you can definitely come across some good stuff if you're patient and have some time to look. Hey friends, and welcome back. We've made it back from our little outlet mall shopping trip, and I thought I'd show you what I ended up picking up. So this right here I ended up getting from Ross. This is a Calvin Klein dress, and it's really pretty. It has little off-the-shoulder ruffle sleeves. It goes all the way down into like ruffles at the bottom. It's just got this really pretty coral, almost orange color feel to it. Feels very Florida, very Florida oranges kind of, so I really liked it. This dress was originally $125 and we got this one for $29. Next up, we've got this one right here, also from Ross. This is by Siren Lily. Never heard of the brand, but I really liked the little red, white, and blue. Thought it would be fun for like 4th of July, 4th of July weekend, and it was $10. And the last dress we got, so the last clothing piece, is this guy right here. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. It's a just basic t-shirt style dress. Really cute and gray with the logo. And I just really liked it. I thought it would be fun to wear because it's been really, really hot outside. So, good little run around, get errands done dress. And then let's show you the other things. Okay, so here's the other stuff we ended up getting. We have the Simply Essential. The Beauty Sleep Silk Pillowcase, Scrunchies, and Face Mask. I think this one was from TJ Maxx as well. Got a little jewelry stand. So this will hold my bracelets. You can put a couple little pieces over here. Just thought it was really pretty. Really liked how it turned out. And I'd like to do like my vanity area as Harry Potter. So we will see. But I thought that was cool with the gold. Because we can add like the... Um, PB Teen Pottery Barn style, and they have a lot of gold in the details, so that's really pretty. Aries has decided to join us. Hey, buddy. We have some soaps from Bath & Body Works. I got the Kitchen Lemon Champagne Toast. This one is hilarious. You're excellent, and it has dinosaurs on it. The Rose Water and Ivy, and a Sunshine Lemons. And then, we're still in search of a desk, but when I get my little office desk to edit all my photos and stuff on, YouTube videos, things like that, I got a purple candle, so I think I'm going to do a Rapunzel-themed desk. Maybe frozen, not sure yet. It's really pretty, fresh cut lilacs, smells incredible. And then the last few bits are some makeup items, and I didn't end up getting everything you guys saw in the cart, because there was a lot of it, but I did get the Beauty Blending Sponge that has the holder. Very cool. We're going to try this guy out. This is the Christy Brinkley Strobe Show Glitter Highlighter in that really pretty pink. Um, I managed to find this, which is incredible. This is a Neo Highlighter by Kevin Aquan. I know this thing is like crazy, ridiculously expensive in Sephora. And I think this was like $10. So it was an excellent find. Comes in this really pretty little velvet case. So it's the Neo Highlighter in Golden Rose Glow. Really pretty packaging. And then you open it, and it's actually got a little bit of fallout on it. But I think that's just because I probably bumped it. But it says Kevin Aquan in the highlight. It's very, very soft. So if you dropped this, this would shatter. Then we have... Clara Cosmetics. I've never actually heard of this, but I thought this was really pretty. So it's got a lot of like bronzier colors and shimmers. Really liked the look of that. And it's 100% color pigmentation. Look at that. I'm going to have to look up this brand because that is crazy insane. And this was $6. We've got a Too Faced Melted lip. This is the Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick. 
$3.99. Hey, TJ Maxx. And you do have to be careful at TJ Maxx because some of them were really <laughs> questionable, as you will have seen. Got Cargo. This is Cargo Cosmetics. This is the Hawaiian palette. So it's got the Hula, Waikiki, Kona, Shell, Lei, Luau. Very, very pretty colors. I like those purples. This one hasn't been opened yet. All the glitters. And it has got a lot of really pretty glitters in it. I've got a Shade and Light contour. And then the best find other than the Kevin Kwan was the Becca. And this is that winter palette that came out that was really, really pretty. And it is the Eye Lights palette. If I can open it with one hand. Look at that. Oh, and I just stuck my finger in it. <laughs> there we go. Super soft shadows. Very, very pretty colors. Really, really happy with this find. So if you are looking for makeup, um, it's definitely going to vary if you're looking for the discount makeups. Our Ross, unfortunately, does not have good ones, but the TJ Maxx had some great ones. So I think it just depends city to city where you go and what you will find. But yeah, that's my little haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it and like and subscribe. Say hi to Aries in the comments below. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video.